I'm going to show you how to transfer photos and videos directly from any LG phone to a Chromebook's hard drive using a cable here. Now first thing to note, if you guys are using a charging cable, a USB-C to a USB-C or I'm not able to use a USB-C to USB-C because I don't have a USB-C port, basically a Thunderbolt 3 on this Chromebook. So my only option is using a USB-A to a USB Type-C. Okay, now it depends what LG phone you have. The newer models have the Type-C, the older models have the uh, USB, the uh, micro USB. Okay, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and connect this USB-A into my USB port on my Chromebook here and then let me grab my LG here. I think it's the LG Stylo 6 here. So now let me go ahead and plug the other end of here. Now you have to log in, okay? So let's go ahead and log in and then I'll tap on the check mark there. Okay, now, okay, so this window here pops up. This is the My File window, so everything is working here. The thing is, if this is not popping up as soon as you plug it in, what you need to do is go ahead and slide down the notifications, and then you can see right here under Android System, it says tap to change USB options. So if I tap on that, now you can see it's already on file transfer exactly where I want it, okay? If yours is like, just up here on charging or whatnot or power supply, you need to go down here and tap on file transfer. So make sure that that is checked right there. And now, okay, so this is actually a LG Stylo 5. However, if I go ahead and look on here, uh, really quickly, this, this window here is called the files window. If it just doesn't pop up, all you gotta do is just go down here, just click on that and then click on files, okay? And that's what this window here is, the files window. Now, if I look down here, I can see LG. Now, it doesn't say LG Stylo 5 for me. It says LG G Flex 2. I'm not sure why, but anyway, let me go ahead and click on that. Now, from here, I'm going to go ahead and look for the DCIM. That's where all our photos and videos that we've taken, that's the folder that's in, DCIM, okay? So, double-click on DCIM, and then from here, just go up here and double-click on Camera. Now, you can see all the um, photos and videos that I have on this phone here, you can see MP4s are basically um, videos and JPEGs is photos. So now what I have to do here is, remember I'm talking about saving it to the Chromebook's hard drive. I'm not talking about anything to do with Google Photos or Google Cloud, okay? So now if we look at my files here, now everything, my files, everything under my files is the hard drive of the computer. So you see this downloads folder right there. Everything that's in there is saved to the, the Chromebook's hard drive. So now what I'd like to do is just go to my files, I'll double click um, or uh, use two fingers to click on the mouse pad and then I'm going to go to new folder here and I'm going to go ahead and just name this folder LG. Now everything I drag and drop is going to be saved directly into the um, to my LG folder here and this is going, this is my actual hard drive to my Chromebook. So for example here let me go ahead and uh, I'll, I'll transfer some other files on here. So here's a uh, Here's a video file. Here's a here's a here's another video. Here's another photo here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drag and drop this into LG right there, and give that one second. You can see that it's copying right there. So give that one second. All right, it's done. Let me click on the LG. Now these are the files that I just transferred. Okay, so I can go ahead and disconnect my phone, and. There you go. So all of these uh, videos and photo photos are on the hard drive of my Chromebook. So pretty simple. Questions, issues, comment below. Good luck.